It's the Thursday Morning House Call with Dr. Lane Aina. Brought to you by Huntsville Memorial Hospital. Good morning, everyone. Big Lynn Edwards with you once again. It's time for another edition of Dr. Lane in Studio. That's what we're going to call it. Dr. Lane in Studio on Thursday. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it, we'll get it to roll off the tongue. That we will. So it's Thursday morning house call brought to you by Huntsville Memorial Hospital. We talk a little bit always before we start being on the air, you and I, and we kind of kick things around just a little bit. And we're talking about something today that affects a lot of people out there and a lot of people ought to pay attention to. Yes, and we are going to talk weight loss today. It affects me personally. I I've always been a chubby guy, and as I like to say, it tis the season. It's January, and a lot of us have started or restarted, in my case, our diets here in January. And I think that's actually a good thing. And anything you do as a group, as a community, tends to stick a little bit better. So we did this show over a year ago. It was very well received. I had several patients say they'd listened to it and had taken the advice to heart. So I thought we could talk about it again today. Well, there's a reason they call me Big Glenn. <laughs> hey, man, that might as well be Big Doc as well. So <laughs> let's talk about weight loss. First of all, let's let's just get it out in the open. Weight loss is hard. Weight loss is difficult, and it is something that you commit a lifestyle to. This is not something that you lose the weight and you're done. As many of us know, the maintenance is just as hard, if not harder, of keeping that weight off. So we want to talk about strategies that could keep it off. Like I had joked with you before the show, if weight loss was easy, there wouldn't be fat doctors. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? So at the end of the day, it comes down to two things, really. Diet and exercise, right? Now, about 80% of weight loss is diet. I don't want to downplay exercise. Exercise is good for your heart. It's good for your lungs. It's good for your brain. It's good for your muscles. There's a lot of benefits from exercise and not being sedentary. But if you're asking me what's the most important part of weight loss, it's calories. And the reason I say that is what's easier? If a slice of pizza is 200 calories, is it easier to get on the treadmill for 45 minutes and burn 200 calories or to just not eat the slice of pizza and eat a salad? That's a hard one. It's hard to pass up pizza, don't get me wrong, but it's easier to watch the calories that go in than it is to burn them off. So when you're looking at weight loss, traditionally we look at calories. More recently, we look at carbohydrates as well. Studies show that you can limit one or the other, and the results are about the same. So pick one. I tell my patients, look, if you just absolutely love calories, excuse me, if you absolutely love carbohydrates and you don't think you can give carbs up, limit your calories. Get on an app like MyFitnessPal. This is not a sponsored show by them, but MyFitnessPal is free and it, it does a good job of making it easy. You can scan barcodes. You can count calories that way. You can also use apps to count carbohydrates. You can look up, there's all kind of online calculators on what a good number is for you to lose weight on. It just use those. Use those tools and make it something you can stick with. There's intermittent fasting as well. That's a new trend we kind of talked about on the last show that has persisted. There's good data behind that. At the end of the day, that could just be that you're limiting calories and carbohydrates. But, you know, look, it's something that I can stick with. It's easy with my life to skip breakfast and go to work and not eat till lunch and to stop in the evening. It also helps you not eat junk. Nothing you eat after 8 p.m. is good for you. I am convinced. It's another good way to look at it. So pick something you can stick with and pick something you can stick with long term be it calories, carbs, intermittent fasting. If you have spoken to your doctor, especially if you're on insulin or you're a diabetic, that is one that you want to talk to your physician about. Exercise is also very important. Now, I tell my patients, look, I know back in the early 2000s, man, I was lifting weights. And by the 2010s, and when I was in med school, believe it or not, I was lifting hundreds of pounds and eating whatever I wanted. Well, now my knee hurts and uh, I'm, I'm just as big. It, you don't have to go crazy in the gym. If you could just walk for 30 minutes a day, five times a week is your goal. 30 minutes a day, five times a week, go for a walk. Not only is that going to help your calories, it's going to help your insulin sensitivity. It's going to help your mood. It's going to help your overall heart health, your overall health. There is just nothing better for you than a walk. It's just a little time for yourself or a little time for you and your partner to just relax. Maybe you and your dog, you know, just relax, take 30 minutes for yourself, get healthy. And it's such a good habit to get into. And this is those couple weeks a year where you might have good weather. So go and enjoy the weather and go for a walk. All right. You heard it from the good doctor. You know, you got to go ahead and, you know, what goes in, <laughs> something has to happen with it. Right. You know, so there we go. Thursday morning house call brought to you by our friends at Huntsville Memorial Hospital. Let's keep Huntsville healthy.